Hello, Bucknutters, and welcome to the Morning 5 on May 12, 2014. I am Dave Biddle. The NFL Draft wrapped up over the weekend, and a total of six former Ohio State players were selected during the three-day event. We talked about first-rounders Ryan Shazier and Bradley Roby on Friday's show, and since then, four additional Buckeyes were selected. Friday night, running back Carlos Hyde and offensive lineman Jack Muhort came off the board two picks apart in the second round. Hyde went 57th overall to the San Francisco 49ers, and Muhort went 59th overall to the Indianapolis Colts. I think these are great landing spots for both of them. Hyde joins a run-oriented team with Frank Gore's career winding down, and Muhort gets to block for the best young quarterback in the game, Andrew Luck. Then on Saturday, center Corey Lindsley was selected in the fifth round, picked number 161 overall by the Green Bay Packers. This is another great landing spot as Lindsley will get to snap the ball to Aaron Rodgers, play for a great team, and gets to be teammates with fellow Buckeyes A.J. Hawk and Ryan Pickett. The biggest surprise Saturday came late in the proceedings when safety Christian Bryant was selected in the seventh round, picked number 241 overall by the St. Louis Rams. Bryant was projected as an undrafted free agent, and it was nice to see him drafted. But I couldn't help but think what Ohio State's 2013 defense would have looked like with a healthy Christian Bryant out there. Considering how much the Buckeyes struggled after he broke his ankle and was lost for the season, one could make the argument that Bryant was the missing piece to winning a national championship last season. As for undrafted free agents from Ohio State that have signed NFL contracts, Philly Brown and Andrew Norwell are off to the Carolina Panthers. Marcus Double Barrel Salute Hall signed with the Colts. C.J. Barnett signed with the New York Giants. And Drew Basil signed with the Atlanta Falcons. We're still waiting to hear about Kenny Guyton, who has yet to sign with the team. There was a report that Guyton signed with the Minnesota Vikings, but that turned out to be erroneous. We'll keep you updated on Guyton. So a total of six Buckeyes were drafted, and a total of five thus far have signed as undrafted free agents. O-H-I-O. Moving on to Ohio State football recruiting, Bill Curlick has his What I Am Hearing feature on the site right now for subscribers. A lot of people have wondered if Torrance Gibson, who is the nation's number one dual threat quarterback recruit, is really going to be a quarterback at the next level. Some people think he might be a wide receiver at the collegiate level. But Bill has information from an excellent source that Gibson is, quote, the perfect fit at quarterback, end quote, in Urban Meyer's offense. Perfect fit? I like the sound of that. Now the Buckeyes just need a commitment from Gibson. Minor details, I tell you. Bill also has an update on 2017 wide receiver slash safety Richard LeCount, who was high school teammates with current OSU linebacker Raekwon McMillan. Luke Fickle stopped by to see LeCount earlier this month, and LeCount now has 17 scholarship offers, including one from Ohio State. He's one of the top sophomores in the country and will visit Ohio State July 17th through the 20th when he's in Columbus for the Top Gun Camp. Bill also has the latest on offensive tackle Noah Listerman from Cincinnati Winton Woods. A lot of people are wondering if Ohio State will step up with an offer for Listerman, but it hasn't happened yet. Listerman did receive an offer from Wisconsin late last week and also has an offer from Michigan State. In fact, Listerman sounds like a virtual lock to end up at Michigan State at this point. Things could change if Ohio State offers, but right now look for Listerman to wind up in East Lansing. In addition to his notes on Gibson, LeCount, and Listerman and his What I Am Hearing feature, Bill has updates on running back slash slot receiver George Hill from Hubbard, the recruiting efforts of OSU defensive line coach Larry Johnson, and much more. O-H-I-O. To read Bill's material and the rest of our premium content on Bucknuts, you need to be a premium subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, give our 30-day free trial a test drive. And it's just $9.95 per month after that. That's roughly 30 cents a day. So try our 30-day free trial to make sure Bucknuts has everything you want in an Ohio State site. O-H-I-O. Speaking of everything you want, the hot spot is making its triumphant return on Bucknuts this week. And this will be a new and improved version of the hot spot as only subscribers will be able to read or post. This will be vastly different than the Wild West version of the hot spot when free users could post. I really think most of the trouble came from the free users. Now, our subscribers will have a place where they can discuss politics and other hot-button issues with each other. It was interesting to see the reaction when we initially decided to get rid of the hotspot. We thought a vocal minority might be upset. Well, it turned out to be more like a vocal majority. It's safe to say that your complaints were received loud and clear, and it's good to report that the hotspot will be back this week. A staunch independent like me can't wait to debate all of you Republicans and Democrats. Nah, I'll probably just stick to the front row, but I'm glad the hotspot will be available for you. Thank you for joining us for the Morning 5. I hope everybody has a great day.